Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. As we've come before the presence of the Lord, gathered here to spend some time with Jesus, let us prepare our hearts to listen to Him and to fulfill His will in our lives. We will be celebrating Mission Sunday tomorrow. So let us turn today to the Eucharistic Lord to seek his grace, to ask for his help that we may be faithful and committed to the mission that Jesus has entrusted to each one of us. My dear friends, we all have been blessed with various gifts, talents, abilities, strength. And God has given all of us different talents, different gifts, so that we can come together and contribute to the mission of Jesus. The church, through its sacramental life, to the various associations and ministries, is always furthering the mission of Jesus. The church is making the kingdom of God a reality here on earth. We do not try to achieve our own goals or further our own plans, but in everything that we do, we are always contributing to the mission of Jesus. So at this point of time, let us reflect and see is my life in line with the mission that Jesus has entrusted to each one of us? Let us ask God to make clear to our hearts and speak to us today so that we all may be encouraged to come forth and work for his mission and make the kingdom of God a reality in our world so that the whole world will be transformed by the gospel values coming alive in our community. this mind among yourselves the mind of Jesus even though he was eternally God's son he emptied himself to be the servant of all he was humble and obedient turned to death he is Lord he is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, that Jesus Christ is Lord.
My dear friends, let us now pay attention to the Word of God. For our reflection today, we will be reading the passage of the commissioning of the disciples. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee to a mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the words of Jesus in today's Gospel reflect what the message of the Gospel has intended from its very beginning. The promise that in Jesus, God is indeed Emmanuel, meaning God with us, and he abides with his faithful people. The mission of Jesus is now entrusted to the disciples and to all of us who hear his word, who are his followers, who are the modern disciples of Jesus. And we are called to be obedient to the Lord's command and carry out Jesus' mission with the assurance of his promise that his presence will never leave us, that his power will always be with us. My dear friends, Jesus claims all authority from God as the risen Lord and Savior. He commissions the disciples to go and make disciples for the kingdom, just as they themselves have been made disciples of Jesus. The disciples today are asked to move out and act in the name of Jesus, to be his ambassadors in the world, so that through them people will come to have an experience of the love of God. The mission today that Jesus has entrusted to the church may be challenging, but the promise that he has given to each one of us is reassuring that he will be with us until the end of age. We all may have been Christians for a very long time. We all may have been very faithful in our practice of our religion, but have we really taken the invitation of Jesus to fulfill his mission seriously? Have we thought, how can I contribute to the mission of Jesus? And how can I make the kingdom of God a reality in this world. Let us pause for a while and reflect on our lives and on these questions that we have just heard.
O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires and incline our hearts to keep your law. Guide our feet into the way of peace that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when the night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Keep us faithful to the mission and dedicated in our call to serve you and our neighbor. We now place few of our intentions before the Lord and ask for His grace that He may answer our prayers. Prayers for our country, for all those in positions of authority, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayers for the need of the Universal Church and for the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayers for all those working in various mission stations all over the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us place our personal intentions before the presence of the Lord. Let us 
that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The divine praises all together. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. It takes courage to answer a call. It takes courage to give your all. It takes courage to risk your name. It takes courage to be true. It takes courage to tell what no other will share. To be standing alone, one who no one will own. 
to be ready to stay for another man's sake. It takes courage to be true. It takes courage to answer a call. It takes courage to give your all. It takes courage to risk your name. It takes courage to be true. Thank you.